What's going on guys? This is Jeremiah with Savage Family Farms. I want to show y'all a little tip that uh, I found out probably a year ago or so. Um, we always eat eggs here. As you see, we've got a big chicken coop out here and we're running a lot of birds. And you have a lot of waste in your eggshells if you just throw them in the trash. So what I started doing was I'll get a, a bag or a bowl or something that you can have there you know for a couple of days um even up to a week or so um when you're cooking eggs if you're doing like i just made a video with me and my kids boiled five or so dozen eggs and we're making pickled eggs on that video i was showing y'all <clears throat> but you get a lot of eggshells with that and so if you're just throwing them in the trash then you're wasting them but i was going to show you all this little tip while i'm in here doing it um I take all my eggshells, put them on a cookie sheet or, you know, baking pan or whatever, and I'll show y'all. I go ahead and put it on my oven, probably anywhere from 375, 400 or so. We put them in here and let them dry out. We'll let them dry out in there for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to take them out and let them cool off for just a second. I'm going to put them in the food processor and chop them up. And what that does is <clears throat> it makes them uh, almost like crumbles. So a lot of y'all might be buying oyster shells or something like that to be feeding your chickens to help back with the eggs, uh, with their shells or anything. But if you do this, put them in there, and you can uh, feed them back to your chickens, and it, it helps out with the, the egg shells. So... I'll bring y'all back in just a minute when these get done cooking in the oven, put them in the food processor, show y'all how to do it. Alright guys, so the eggshells are done. This is what it looks like. They're all cooked up. They're still a little hot, so I'm going to use some, some tongs trying to grab them. But I got my Ninja little food processor. What we're going to do is just get them out, drop them in here. And what it does is when you cook it, it dries out any, maybe any bit of the yolk or the whites or anything that may still be in there. Um, but giving this back to your chickens as a little treat is going to give them a little bit of boost with the calcium to help with their eggs being a little bit, you know, stronger than eggshells. <clears throat> and it's not wasting, so... And you can just do this, like sometimes I'll do it and then I'll just take it outside in a bucket and use my sledgehammer or something and just kind of softly beat them down, you know, and they'll break up. But I just figured for <clears throat> ease of use, uh, I would do it like this in case y'all, you know, didn't want to get out there and do that. Y'all can just do it with a food processor and be just as fast. Once you cook them, they get really, really brittle. So let me put the top on this and show you all how this works. If I can get the top on here. There we go. It's kind of hard doing all this with one hand. See how easy that is? Come on. See, it adds a nice, breaks them down really good. We'll do the rest of these. Once I get the rest of these in here, I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so we're back. I'm gonna do this last one with you. As you see, we've done our whole pan full. This is our last little bit we're going to do.
But as y'all can see, I mean, this is super easy. And what I did was I just had an old pickle jar. And I save all kind of jars and stuff just for this reason. But, oh. Don't want that in there. But, as you can see, we pretty much got a whole, probably three quarters of a jar filled up. with finely grinded down shavings that now we can give to our chickens. And we can give that to them. That's like a, you know, this little snack or little treat or whatever. Um, you don't have to grind it down that, that much, but I tend to add mine uh, to my feed some, and it helps out with it. Um, like I said, I've been doing this for over a year, and I've been hearing a lot of people being, you know, kind of slack on their eggs and stuff like that. But I tell y'all, even during the winter, we're running about 40 birds out here, and uh, we're getting, we were during the winter time, we were getting over a dozen eggs a day. I couldn't keep up with it, <clears throat> trying to sell it, trying to sell eggs and stuff. But I just thought this would be a cool little tip to maybe share and you know help y'all out with trying not to waste stuff, but. This pan, I mean the pan, y'all can see it, you got a few little pieces, but it's not nasty or nothing like that. It doesn't make your pan, you know, stick to it or nothing like that. As long as you don't have a lot of, a lot of runny stuff on your eggs, try to get all that out before you do it. Um, but anyways, I appreciate it. If y'all could like, comment, subscribe to the page, it helps out. Um, we're going to be trying to do a lot more videos now. I get I get home in the dark, so it's hard to make videos in the dark, but we'll be trying to make some more videos. Um, I appreciate y'all's support. Thank you.